acts of folly. And you may be wondering what I'm talking about. It would be hard to explain. It would be easier for me to give you a case study. And so the big acts of folly in life. A discernment on sort of a micro level, which... Well, with that kind of an introduction, I feel like I just attended my own funeral. Wow, that was some eulogy. <laughs> now, it's, uh, it's a joy to be here with you and to be a part of this church. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this men's conference logo, but we're going to let John keep talking for a minute. So this is a, a blessed time for me. Um, I admit that I've never been as old as I am today. So people say to me, how are you feeling? And I say, I don't know. How am I supposed to feel at this age? Either this is normal or I'm dying. One of the two. I'm not sure exactly which. But uh, I'm, I'm glad that I'm still here and even more glad that I know I'm here. <laughs> That's the helpful part. So I was asked to speak to you about the issue of discernment. And I, I, I want to get to a few passages, but to begin with, a couple of verses in Philippians chapter 1. Just... Okay, so John MacArthur, who has five generations of Freemasons above his head in the family tree is still practicing Freemason everything. Okay. When you go over here, let's break this down to the best that we can. We see a sunshine and the three triangles. I'll take you over to show you how the three pyramids in Egypt and the sunshine represent the stargate that Bethel keeps playing with inside of Freemasonry. Now, we see the cross underneath the three pyramids, but that cross is not a cross. See how the top of it has been separated? And that's made into the T. That letter T is the Tau cross from Tammuz worship that goes through Freemasonry and the reason why the Catholics put the cross of ashes on their foreheads because they're Tammuz followers. And then we have on each side of the cross, we have three degrees, three steps going up towards the pyramids on each side. So we have a three on one side of the cross and a three on the other side of the cross for their hidden number 33. Now, this occultism where it has the sunshine and the three um, Egyptian pyramids, that's completely normal. The three pyramids is a hidden number 666. These guys are just occultists. To establish... So we just looked at MacArthur's logo. We come over here, we put in Freemason and Triangle, and it starts bringing up this stuff, right? You're going to say, Brian, that's just stretching it too far. And we've got this kind of stuff that it shows where it's the three interlocking triangles. This type of stuff, right? But then we've got these guys who do alchemy. And they start locking together triangles and diamonds. And the triangle and the triangle and the diamond. Then we have this kind of stuff. These are all still the same exact logo as what John MacArthur's group is using. So if there are three dots inside of one triangle... 
but what happens if they make three triangles, right? Semitic history, semantic, yeah. It's all about opening your eyes. That's why they're using the triangles, it says, to be able to open your eyes. So we've already covered this in the past where it shows artificial intelligence, Luciferian takeover of Reading, that this same group is using the same three triangles, slightly different configuration. You can say anything you want every three seconds. Someone signs up for this new AI tool called DID. It lets you create a talking avatar using your face, an AI-generated face, or one of the company's high-quality models. These can be used for your social media, customer service, employee training, or just for fun. Right now, it's already an incredibly powerful tool, but imagine where this software will be in the next six months. I've been digging, and I have an idea what they're up to, and I'll share it at the next event. Join me on Wednesday, January 3rd for Startup Reading's AI Connect, where we're going to play with DID and talk about how it can be used in your business. So did you guys realize this is a group of people in my hometown where Bethel is located that is using the Freemasons three interlocking triangles? These guys are giving away free money to be able Oh, sorry, the Angel Investment Group is giving free money through these guys to be able to buy out our town. The same as John MacArthur is a Freemason and will not lead you back to Sabbath keeping and Torah obedience. There's no truth inside Sunday worship to the law and the testimony. If a man doesn't come speaking according to these words, there's no truth in him. If you're not going to bring the law of Torah that belonged to the Hebrews, plus the understanding that Yeshua HaMashiach was the risen Savior that you can now come into a covenant with that is an already pre-established covenant that he made with Abraham when he passed between the pieces while Abraham was sleeping. That covenant that Yeshua HaMashiach made when he walked through those pieces, he paid for on that um, stake and that stake, him raising from the dead, resulted in that there's no more blood sacrifices inside the temple. Outside of that, the place that the Torah, the law of God, was written before was on tablets of stone, according to scripture. It's now to be written on our hearts. Now, just from my personal experience of 36 or so years of being inside Calvary Chapel churches, they have thrown out the law. They tell us that the law is dead. We are saved by grace through faith. Well, that's the end. There's nothing beyond what that statement is. But once you are saved by grace through your faith, through favor, because that word grace is not in the Hebrew. It's more of a, you're saved by favor. If you're the bride, your groom's going to favor you. So you are saved by the favor. So the same guy right here that has his three triangles that's helping to finance Bethel's taking over of Reading. See those three triangles? They look like a three-pointed crown, don't they? Same thing here where Access Worship International, they're still doing their triangles. Here's a video inside the playlist that's called John MacArthur, The Masonic Connection. Using these triangles is how the Freemasons are hiding themselves. See how closely familiar that fallen angel cult financing Bethel takeover of Reading. How closely that triangle 
See the symbology these guys are using, where it's the three pyramids turn into the one pyramid that turns into the portal. And they've got lions here because that's called the Lion's Gate Portal. That's the same portal that is Bethel's Alabaster Prayer House and the reason why it has the pyramid on top. It's symbolic. This symbology is directly connected to Bethel's Alabaster Prayer House. The three pyramids going into the circle or a one pyramid going into a circle. You've seen how Hillsong and those guys have been putting the pyramids and they've got a circle of light at the roof of their buildings and the, and the pyramid of lights. It's the same thing. They're creating a mind consciousness that connects back to this symbology of the lion's gate astrological. It, this, this is all astrology. It's exactly what the Bible says in Deuteronomy 18, 10 through 12, that God calls abominations things that he hates. That's what these people are practicing. So this logo of the three uh, pyramids with the sunshine. It is discernment. Now, there are a lot of ways to talk about discernment. You could talk about discernment on sort of a micro level, which would be 1 Thessalonians 5, 20 and 21. And what that says is examine everything carefully and hold fast to what is good. Discernment.